Now we will consider average time between molecular collisions. So once again, we're talking about nitrogen gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. So we're going to use the same numerical values we had in the previous uh, two problems. So uh, let's take a look at uh, what we know about this gas. Uh, well, in the previous problems, we have used the number density to be 2.5 10 to 19 molecules per centimeter cube and mean speed was 5.1 10 to 4 centimeters per second. Additionally, we find in the text that uh, for again the same problem nitrogen gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure in this one liter container, the radius of the molecule. Uh, was estimated to be of the order of uh, 10 to minus 8 centimeters. So that's what we will use. So uh, the information we have about this nitrogen gas is the number density N is equal to 2.5 times 10 to minus 19 uh, per centimeter cube. Uh, it's mean speed we have estimated to be 5.1 times 10 to 4 centimeters per second and we also have estimated its uh, radius a to be 10 to minus 8 centimeters which is uh, one angstrom okay so in the problem of collision between molecules we can think of an imaginary uh, disk that is traveling with a molecule so here uh, again from our uh, lecture we have found out that if a molecule travels a mean distance a mean free path to collide with another molecule when we look at the center to center distance uh, b so assuming that we have identical molecules for a collision to occur we must have the center to center distance b uh, should be uh, less than you can see here it should be less than uh, 2a so less or equal to uh, 2a we will have a collision if b is greater than uh, 2a we have no collision and this was equivalent to saying that uh, the critical value, so B is equal to, to A, critical value, corresponds to having uh, a total of one molecule inside the volume, uh, which is uh, the total scattering cross-section sigma, the area of the disk that the uh, molecule is carrying with it which is pi 2a squared uh, which is 4 pi a squared multiplied by the mean free path so in this volume it should be sigma times L uh, we must have one molecule inside so B is equal to 2a implies we have half a molecule uh, um, in this one so that's molecule A and half a molecule A prime molecule inside this volume so total is one so that is the critical uh, condition alright so uh, sigma is 4 pi A square is the total scattering cross section And we find that a molecule travels an average distance L, the mean free path. before it collides 
with another molecule. So that's the mean distance between successive collisions. And this is so that we have uh, in the uh, volume sigma times L, if I multiply this volume with the number density uh, N, I should get 1. So N is the total number of molecules divided by the volume number density and that is the critical condition uh, for uh, scattering. Now if I have a molecule traveling with a mean speed uh, V bar then we can see that uh, the uh, mean free time, the average time between molecular collisions will be the mean free path divided by the mean speed of the molecules okay so if the molecule is traveling with a mean speed v bar then we must have v bar times T bar, which is the mean time between molecular collisions, equal to L, the mean free path. Okay, so we're now ready to calculate uh, T bar. So the T bar, which is average time between collisions. is given by L divided by V bar and the mean free path uh, must be found using this relationship because we have the critical uh, condition for a collision to occur sigma LN is equal to 1 the mean free path is uh, 1 over uh, sigma N so this is going to be 1 over sigma N V bar and that will be 1 over 4 pi a square n V bar so this is basically <clears throat> what I have to calculate in order to get the mean uh, time between uh, collisions so if we substitute the numbers we have uh, listed from uh, our previous discussions in the text so these are the values that we have imported to this problem then if I substitute these I will have um, 1 over 4 pi a squared 4 pi 10 to minus 8 centimeter squared for n we have 2.5 10 to minus 9, 19 cent per centimeter cube. And for V bar, we had 5.1, 10 to 4 centimeters per second. By substituting these values, we obtain T bar to be 6 times uh, 10 to minus 10 seconds. So T bar is 60, 10 to minus um, Uh, let's see, um, 6 times 10 to minus 10, that, that will be 0. 0.6 times 10 to minus 9. Seconds or 0. 0.6 nanoseconds. So this will be our answer for the uh, mean time between uh, collisions. So we're considering nitrogen gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure again. So we remember the uh, critical condition for a collision is that 
the total scattering cross section times the mean free path, which is this volume of this uh, cylinder, imaginary cylinder, uh, this must have a total of one molecule because molecule A, half of it is already inside this molecule. You need to have at least half of the other molecule uh, inside this volume so that there will be a collusion. That's equivalent to saying the center to center distance B is less or equal to 2A for a collusion. And so sigma LN, where N is the number density, must be equal to 1. And for a mean speed V bar, L will be equal to V bar times T bar, which is the mean time between collusions. Okay, so uh, therefore we can obtain T bar to be L divided by V bar, which is 1 over 4 pi A square and V bar. So if we substitute the values that we have obtained from the previous uh, problem, uh, and also the radius of a molecule which is estimated to be 10 to minus 8 centimeters we obtain 10, uh, 6 times 10 to minus 10 seconds or uh, 0.6 nanoseconds.